Seems like uh, we've had a couple of catches in the last few weeks. Maybe maybe your workload is going up a bit. Does it feel that way for you? Is there something you're doing to earn maybe more chances out there? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I try and treat every I just treat every rep I get with like it's my last one, and if I get a thousand up, I get five of them. I'm just gonna keep playing the same. I mean, we've we've heard all the tight ends forever say that they don't you know, they don't expect the football, they don't care, they're not tracking it, but. It's got to feel good when you get a chance. Oh, they yeah. trust that you have a football in your hands. Oh yeah, I mean it's always nice to it's always nice to carry the ball around and feel. I mean it's just a different feeling when you get the ball in your hands. You know what I mean? And it's just I mean we appreciate it. We never take it for granted. That's for sure. What is that feeling like? <laughs> kind of takes you back to high school a little bit, just not as much. <laughs> you guys have the number one offense in the country, Cade. Um, Red zone offense feels like maybe one thing you guys can get better at. Uh, speak on that a little bit. Red zone offense, maybe what you guys can improve on in that facet. Well, man, it's always an emphasis for us. I mean, scoring touchdowns in the red zone, I mean, coming from all low, when we know down there they're going to play lower than us, and uh, that's our goal is not let them play lower than us and get our pads down and move off the ball and score with your guy. We're going to score a touchdown, so that's what we're going to try and do. Like Austin was saying, you're playing a huge role this year. Is this kind of what you expected? Like, you, you having a lot of funds? Is this kind of what you expected coming into your third uh, year? I mean, coming off, I mean, new positions and uh, just being, I mean, being in different positions like that and then coming over here uh, and actually contributing, playing a role, I mean, means a lot. Uh, it's good for my mental health, really, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, you're playing a ton, man. So what, what was, like, the biggest uh, adjustment to becoming a tight end? Was it blocking? Was it... Receiving was it something else? Uh, receive, I mean, the routes were. I mean, uh, running routes was definitely a craft that I mean I've tried to. Cause I'm still working on every day of this day. Uh, I mean, just trying to get technical sound with that. My fundamentals down. I mean, that was the hardest uh, transition was that. You said it was good for your mental health. Oh yeah. I mean, when you're not contributing like I mean contributing like you want to. I mean, everybody here like when you want to come. I mean, you love everybody here, but I mean, you want to go out there. You want to play. You know what I mean? And when you're not like I mean, there's a lot of lonely nights like that. So you were moving around freshman year. It was fun. I'm mean, not had a good time. I love, I love learning different positions. I mean, it's always something. I mean, always something to look forward to in my mind. Like I can go. I'm doing this. I get to learn how to do this today, and uh, it was enjoyable. But I think I found. Uh, I feel like I found my home here, and this is where I'm gonna stay. When you won Mr. Football Award here in Ohio, do you remember who the runner-up for that award was? No clue. Mayan Williams. Was it? <laughs> I was going to ask if you ever give him a hard time. I guess you don't. No, I, 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 I'm <laughs> yeah. the first one to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mine was, yeah, as a junior, mine was the runner up to yeah. you for the award. I know he rushed for a lot of yards. That's what I know. Yeah. Well, now you have the bragging rights. <laughs> I'm glad. Thanks. <laughs> looking, looking back to the film, what can you take from their, uh, you know, just nice. defensive line, from what the looks that they saw, the looks that they gave you guys in terms of blocking and yeah. Uh, that's what? a good. That's a good team. That's a really. I mean, it's a very well coached, athletic, strong team. I mean, that was a good challenge for us. Uh, I mean, they won some. We won some of the battles. I mean, we just take that and watch the film. Just get better with it. I mean, as far as moving feet and staying lower, get your hands inside. Did they? Did they show you something different than that you haven't seen before? I mean, that was just. I mean, just different people, different athletes, in different spots, and big game. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, nerves were up there a little bit. I mean, we needed. That was great for us. I mean, I think that was a great win for the team. That was a hell of a team we beat. So. We're, just happy, we're happy to be in this position we're in right now. What's it like playing for Kevin Wilson? He's obviously the offensive coordinator, but you guys get to hang out with him just as tight ends a oh, yeah. lot. I, I know you guys like him. Just speak about that a little yeah. bit, if you I would. Mean, he's, a great, he's good. He's a, one of the smartest football minds I've ever been around. Uh, I mean, he can ramble off things that you, know, you don't know what he's saying half the time. <laughs> but, no, I mean, he does, he does good. Uh, we enjoy him. Uh, he's tough. I mean, he's tough on us. And, but, I mean, he loves us, so he's just going to try and bring the best out in us. Hey, when, you, when you talk about get, getting lower and winning in the red zone, like, what was it like to watch maybe the film of that? And what did you see? I know you're talking about this being a learning experience and getting better. But was it tough to watch? What, what did you I mean, it's all, I mean, I mean, as anybody that's ever played a sport, I mean, it's always tough to watch when you know something bad's coming up. <laughs> you trying to cut it down a little bit or you just sit up there. I mean, just take it. Uh, but, I mean, we know, I mean, a lot of them, I mean, some of the stuff that I mean, happened, I mean, just being very simple, I mean, just shorter steps and stuff like that, just uh, the button up and clean up. I mean, it's good. I mean, it always gives you something to look forward to and work on the next day. So we enjoy it. And whether it's good or bad, we go and then take it like we take it like a man, I guess, in yeah. a way. What have you seen tonight or, or yesterday that tells you you've taken that film, taken that experience? Yeah, I mean, each every Tuesday is a battle. Every Wednesday is a battle. I mean, we're going against – 
in my opinion, the best defense in the country. Uh, I mean, they give it, they give us their best every day. We give them theirs. I mean, that's both of us are. I mean, offense will win on one day, defense will win on one day, offense will win on the rep, defense will win on one rep. Uh, so, I mean, it's a great back and forth battle. I mean, to where you get in the game, you feel comfortable and you feel prepared what you're going against. With the short yardage stuff in the goal line, I mean, was there a feeling it was really just everybody needs to make their block? I mean, I don't, it didn't seem like you were just outnumbered. Just maybe something wrong here, something wrong here. And it adds I mean, I, I think you could probably argue that if everybody makes a block every play, you should probably score every play. But <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes there's too many guys to block. Yeah, no, I mean, it was, I mean, they, they brought good looks. Uh, I mean, sometimes we just didn't execute in the right way. I mean, that's our focus was, I mean, we we're just going to execute down there and just get better at that. Uh, Nebraska's tough down there, so uh, we're just going to try and learn from what we did and just try and take it in the next game. I mean, Nebraska's three and six, but they played Michigan to within a score, Michigan State, Oklahoma, Purdue, all these teams within a touchdown. Yeah. How does that change the way you guys prepare? Obviously, you never want to take anyone lightly, but. But the way last week went, and then knowing that about them, has it changed yeah. this week? No, I mean it's all. I mean, at least no. I, I would say we prepare, especially I mean, after we dropped the game at the beginning of the season. I mean that, I mean, we're kind of. I mean, we're. I would say we're battle testing. I mean, we're ready. We know what that feels like. I mean, we're not trying to feel that again. So I mean, we're taking everybody like we're taking everybody like we're playing the Kansas City Chiefs. You know what I mean? Like whether it's Division Two teams, Division Three teams, Division One. Chiefs have a losing record too. Well. Last year, Chiefs, come on. Now they're 500. <laughs> they're 500. I don't yeah. know anything about sports. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's not recruiting. What? <laughs> I don't know anything about sports. Well, well, photography and recruiting, my man. I think a lot of legs <laughs> from the loss early in the season. Was it kind of nice to be able to you know, say that you guys didn't play very well but also win a game? Oh, yeah. I mean, it was – yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's always nice. I mean, you always want to play well, but, I mean – uh, I mean, you're always going to get thrown stuff you don't want to be thrown at. I mean, it's just how you handle it. I mean, the defense the defense played outstanding and brought us out of so many different situations we put ourselves in. So uh, we're blessed to have that. And, I mean, we're happy to get after it this week. i got one more hard-hitting question for you. So meat prices have gone up a lot. Um, <laughs> Ruck said he was going to buy a half a cow from, from Stover Farms. Okay. Um, so, like, have the prices gone up for Ruck, or are you giving him, like, the deal? No, nah, we, all, we keep all our fruits and beef we keep the same, 325, 325 a pound on the hanging weight. So... We, we try and keep it consistent with our customers and not go off of what the market's doing so they know they can always keep a consistent price what we're getting. Okay, good. No discount for the media, right? No, yeah, okay. no. You guys go. Everybody gets the same price. Not even Ruck. Okay. okay. Ruck's ass ain't getting cheap. It's me? Come on. Hey, what's an NIL deal like, look like for your own family farm? For my, an NIL deal for my family farm? I don't know. I've never. I would say I'm one of the biggest contributors and I've never been paid a cent for my farm, so that's good. <laughs>